All right, I'm gonna make a little video on how to mount these in your truck. I mean, most people could probably figure it out, but it's a cool little idea I had because I've always wanted, this is a Tacoma I have here. I wanna mount this shovel right here. Oh, it's, it's gonna go that way inside the truck. So these things hold it like that. So the idea was to mount these here. Hopefully you can see this it's so bright out here. Sorry, here. And then another one down there. I mean, you can really mount them either direction. I was originally going to mount them in this track here where I could move them. But I figured it's kind of high and sticks out pretty far. This way it would be a little more recessed and in there better. And, you know, it's better than being this way too because something could catch this and flop it open. This way it's hangs down so I won't get caught as much. Before I just had it, I had the shovel sitting here and I had this lock on the loop in the back and then I had it on that loop and it was locked on there and I had this wrapped around the shovel and strapped on it to keep it from moving you know when I'm off-roading and stuff so a stupid tree in the way of my truck here so uh, this is what I'm using I imagine there's lots of ways to do it but this is just what, the way I came up with it I thought would be a good way to do it so I bought this driver bit because these screws take it and then I bought these heavy duty screws from Lowe's, which I wasn't able to write the part number down, but I do have a picture of it, so I'll try to include that in the description. And if you don't have one of these, I recommend you get it because they're awesome. This is a half inch to quarter inch adapter, which it allows you to take these things and put them in a chuck where you can use a normal gun. This is a half inch impact. So I can just pop this on here and now I got a screw gun with tons of torque because this thing is like 1400 pounds this thing will snap a lug nut right off so this makes it where it's much easier to drill these in so I'm gonna go ahead and set all this up and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's mounted here but I mean I think you get the idea it's probably gonna I'm gonna see if I can go that way so the shovel won't stick out this way but when I was mocking it up it looks like it'll be pretty close tucked under the lip here so I'll still have room to you know put my dirt bike in here and whatever other stuff I might need and then I'm just gonna store this in the cubby here and I'm gonna make another video hopefully you can see on how to change these out and put locks in them you just use a common mailbox lock you can buy from anywhere so that way uh, these aren't so easy to open I have a, a big problem with these when I'm off-roading a lot of times they'll f fall out luckily they fall out into the truck and they haven't blown out of the truck but I'm going to show you how to change these out to locks. This one over here has a, a clevis in it and it always comes open. And you know you need the clevises if you get stuck. But um, yeah I'm going to show you how, how this looks mocked up here in a second. So here's a screw gun. I mean I could imagine you could probably figure that out. But that's what it looks like there. And then I came to the conclusion that the shovel's got to go this way. I want it on this side of the bed. And I can't put it this way because it hits. This is just a little shovel. See, it's hitting there and it's hitting at the top here. So it's got to go this way. Now I can go either way. I can put it that way, but it just looks like it sticks out too far there because the back makes it hit and stick the front way out. So this way it seems a lot more flush. So that's how we're going to mount it, just like that. And I'll show you once I get those mounted on. So here it is, I got this one up. Now these screws that I got, they're pretty heavy duty and they, they can, you got kind of a notch in there. They're like a drill screw, so they will drill through this. Just takes a little pressure, I'm gonna show you. I don't know if I could do this, it's still hard to do with one hand, but I'll try. Let's see if it'll go in. There we go. This, this is like, plastic and fiberglass so I mean this thing's on there you can see the whole truck shaking you know with this thing and they do have they do make I think I have one here I'll try to show you yeah here we go I got one these things so you don't have to use a regular drill if you want to pre-drill the hole you can just pop this is way too big this is like what a quarter inch or something is that what it says there yeah quarter inch so obviously this is way too big but um if you did want to drill these out to make it a little easier if you're going to use different type of screws you could i just wanted it 
it to be a really solid connection so there's another hole here I'm gonna try to put a screw in that also right here so I'll have that one that one and the screw in the middle here so this thing should be really solid it's already solid but I'm gonna put another one just in case so I'll let you know once, once I got the other one up it's gonna go here there you get the idea up like that I don't use no fancy measuring or nothing like that. I just throw it on there. It could be a little crooked, but it's all right. You know, ain't a picture hanging on the wall. It's just a shovel on the back of the truck, so it'll be fine. Well, again, sorry for the sun, but that looks a lot better than just throwing on the floor here. And this way I can get stuff in and out of my truck bed without having to move the shovel every time. It just sits there. I'm going to put another one on this side with probably an axe or something. But this side... These are good too because you can put extension cords, rope, whatever, just wind it up and uh, tuck it under the loop and it won't go nowhere. But this freaking thing is solid. Like it ain't going nowhere. I can go through car washes and it ain't going to be, you know, every time I go through the car wash, I was looking in the back of my truck, but I don't have to worry about that now. You know, like, hey, this thing's mounted. It ain't going nowhere. It's solid. So it's got three screws in each one of these guys and that's how it looks. Looks pretty good to me. Anyways, uh, I'll, I'll leave in the description the screws I use if you want to use them. But realistically, any screws will probably work. I just use those because they're really heavy duty. And I want them to be able to cut into the plastic bed of the truck without um, having any problems. Another good spot would be in this track right here. But I wanted to be able to put the dirt bike there and not worry about crushing the sh shovel or anything. Have a couple bikes in here or maybe a quad or something. Anyways, that's just the way I set it up. It looks pretty good, in my opinion. Thanks for watching.